That snow in the northern part of our area from Winter Storm Alex caused a handful of rural school districts in Marinette Forest and Florence counties, including Beecher Dunbar Pembine, to cancel classes for the day. So is that a concern this early in November? Well, meteorologist Phil DeCastro took the Fox 11 storm chaser, picked it up from Doug, and on up to Pembine in northern Marinette County. And he's still there live this evening with more on the season's first snow day. <laughs> Phil. Yeah, Tom, that's right. We're seeing still a little bit of light snow, believe it or not, even though there's not much showing up on the radar with the storm chaser. But it seems almost cruel to be talking about snow days before Thanksgiving rolled around and thanks to the early burst of snow from the end of winter storm Alex this morning that's exactly what we had and it is forcing some districts to already start to take account for the snow days that they have left as the last flakes of winter storm Alex flew through the sky it was dry and empty inside Pembine High School already on the 11th of November the Beecher Dunbar Pembine district had to use a full snow day along with a few other surrounding districts with last winter's harsh weather fresh on his mind, District Administrator Chris Metra says the decision wasn't an easy one this early in the season. I started this morning, my day started at 3.30 this morning with a phone call from a superintendent, actually a principal in Wasaki, and he and I had a discussion, should we cancel, should we not cancel? Uh, so we talked through that, and we said, let's give it another half an hour. So we waited and talked again, talked again. Finally, at 5.30, we had to make the call by 5.30. But Metra says he's also not too worried about calling off a full day of school Tuesday in addition to a half day on Monday just yet. That's because of a few new policies in place regarding how schools count their instructional time. Here's the facts. Under the old system, instructional time was counted in full days, and a school district had to reach 180 instructional days in a school year. But now that time is broken down into hours and minutes. According to the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction, school districts have to reach 1,050 hours in a school year for grades 1 through 6. For grades 7 through 12, it's 1,137 hours. Districts are allowed to count five school days worth of hours to use as snow days. But once those are gone, this new system means districts can make up any missed time beyond that in small chunks, for example, tacked on to the end of existing school days. Metra says it gives superintendents much more flexibility than was previously afforded. But above any concerns Metra has about snow days and making them up, safety was first and foremost in his mind. If you were out across the northern half of the area today, you may have noticed that many of the main roads were actually fairly clear. But as soon as you started to turn off the main roads and onto the secondary roads, conditions worsened very quickly, and that factored into the decision to cancel schools. 16, 17, 18-year-olds driving to school. So you bet, it's, it's, uh, we have to take their safety into consideration. Of course, that's our, our primary focus. And if this early start to winter is any indication, this won't be the last time school districts have to think about taking a snow day. And what many school districts tend to do is what the, they'll factor or they'll build in what's called in-service days for the teachers. And if they need to use those days, they can turn those into instructional days to make it up. Now, both uh, 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 Beecher, uh, Dunbar, Pembine, and the Niagara School District also do that. I talked to Niagara earlier today, and they said that they're actually also not too worried just yet. And even after the last harsh winter that they saw, they still managed to uh, finish on time during the last school year. And with the weather clearing up, both school districts hoping to be back in school tomorrow. Live in Pembine, meteorologist Philip Castro, Fox 11 News.